Well, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But in the city of Hastings, winning is losing, especially when 78-year-old Paul Swanstrom gets involved. In this week's Finding Minnesota, WCCO's John Lortzen shows us how decades of perfecting the luge drew a crowd. Get up here, don't waste the time. A morning spent at the Swanstrom residence is a morning full of twists and turns. Oh, it's a ton of fun. It's faster and there's sharp turns, and so it's more difficult to stay on. Look where you're going. Kids who are used to downhill sledding are now learning to have old school fun with a fast-paced twist. And it's all thanks to former science teacher Paul Swanstrom. I made these things before we even heard or knew about the luge. In the early 70s, Paul decided to create a sort of snow slide for his son. What he maybe thought was a one-time deal has turned into decades of perfecting the luge. Mostly it's trial and error. <laughs> it takes me at least about uh, 40 hours before I can go down it the first time even. He needs Mother Nature and Old Man Winter to bring him just the right amount of snow and just the right temperatures. The way you form some of this anyway is with your boots, with your feet. You just take your foot and kind of go like that. Over several days, he'll gather snow from his street and driveway and stack it up from his front yard to backyard, 200 feet to be exact. <laughs> there are four different banks, some as high as four feet. Paul uses his own handmade tools to keep the runway clear. I can take and get, get it all out pretty quick. Then he'll water it all down for those who have a need for speed. And I'm gonna go between 85 and 90 miles an hour, you said? No, maybe 15 to 20. Okay, that's good enough. <sighs> Woo! Oh, man. Always the teacher. Paul even takes time to educate on form and technique. What's gonna happen? You're gonna go whoosh. Right in town in Hastings, it's nice to have somebody that'll do that and just invite anybody around to come enjoy it and you know especially for free oh you got to get your feet flat on the bottom paul takes it a day at a time and a winter at a time this year because of covid he wanted to give people something fun to do and as long as they avoid the tree at the end it's mission accomplished what do you hope people get out of this fun <laughs> fun and memories this is where i get the fun right now in hastings john lordson <laughs> WCCO 4 News. Well, since the weather hasn't always cooperated, Paul estimates that he has built anywhere from 25 to 30 luges over the years. Riders just have to sign a waiver, wear a mask, and have fun before it melts.